So it's now 9.45 a.m. on the 12th of May 2022. This is my second video for the day. Uh, so far, goal number one is done. I will add pictures to my website because I now understand why I feel like I was fighting boss for the covers last night. Because it turns out he had most of them. Anyway, my bed is made. Uh, and I mean made as in the sense that it's actually made. It's not clean linen and sheets and all that bullshit because I sure as shit don't have enough energy for that. Plus that would then mean I'd have to clean Boz's feet and I definitely don't have enough energy for that. There is dirt all the way through his side of the bed but it's his side of the bed and when it comes in mine I just brush it off. Totally worth it for having the best bestest friend I've got in boss so I'm cool with that um I finally listened to the message it was my actual specialist um she left a message basically saying really sorry I forgot it's busy blah 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 so I knew that it'd be the case um I didn't know it'd be forgotten but you know I knew it was busy and blah 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 but anyway she said that she was fine with the fact that I've increased the medication medication dosage from what she'd given me to double the strength. Um, in the sense that, oh, in the sense that, um, as I've explained in these videos, the particular medication I'm on for my bladder, um is solely for that so it doesn't affect any of the other medication I take which is fantastic uh, but there are two strengths 25 milligrams and 50 it costs $66 a month and even though it is definitely helping um, it's not helping enough and this is why I said to them, it's so important I speak to her because my specialist has now mentioned each time I've spoken to her that if the meds don't do exactly what they're supposed to, and I'm not denying that they're not that they are helping, but helping is one thing. Like I'm still living with the bullshit. It's just slightly less intense than it was still very much there um so yeah my doc has mentioned on multiple occasions that the next step up is surgery i think i think it must be surgery she well i don't know i've no idea how the fucking shit works uh but basically she says i will need botox injected into my bladder that's the next step now, my appointment was for yesterday. I called the day before. So Thursday's today, Wednesday. I called on Tuesday and I was like, look, I'm really sick. There's absolutely no way I can come in. And I've explained all of these in this video. So I don't want to repeat myself. Though I know that I probably do that all the fucking time. Anyway. Um, and they had told me the 20th of June was the next available one. And I was like, no, it's too far away. I need to speak to her I mean, like, I need to speak to her. I sent emails to them months ago going, I need to talk to my doctor. Anyway, um, uh, I called back. So, I apologise for the, the message I left. Now, the woman I spoke to is the same woman I spoke to yesterday. She was a lot nicer today. So, maybe she was just flustered. Because today she told me it's her second day there. And I said to her, where's the normal receptionist? And she's got COVID. And I'm like, oh, so, yeah, okay, I get you. She's like, look, this is my day two here. I'm not used to doing all of this. And instantly I was like, I'm so sorry for the message. I'm just really sick as well. Blah, blah, blah. She goes, I haven't heard the message. And I was like, that's really good. I'm really glad to hear that. Um, I said, but that doesn't help me because I really need to talk to my doctor. And in the message, my specialist had said, we still need to have a face-to-face. -face. So obviously I called straight back and I was like, okay, now what happens? I waited for hours yesterday. And mind you, I've waited a long time to get this, yeah? So in between the last one and this one, 
it's over a month so i thought to be honest given what had happened yesterday that fit me in for a phone call today whether it's five or ten minutes you know i truly think that i've waited long enough anyway the receptionist was like uh we've got a new script here for you uh blah, like the she Mega, mega, I think that's what it's called. I pronounce this shit wrong. I don't know. I've put pictures up. Anyway, she's like, she's happy with the increase. And I'm like, yeah, it should be 50 milligrams. And she's like, it is. And I'm like, yep, yeah, cool. And she goes, oh, the outstanding. And I know she went to say bill. I said, I'm not paying anything. I said, I waited for two hours. I have not spoken to anyone. I said, there's absolutely no way I'm being charged for this. She goes, oh, no. She goes, oh someone maybe well i don't know because she acted the, the, today the lady i spoke to was like clearly not the one that had put the script together and done all the invoicing and stuff so i'm very confused in that regard but anyway oh don't breathe too deeply maybe i want to cough anyway um i said to her look when's the next available appointment so, mind you, two days ago, the next available appointment was the 20th of June. Excuse me, which was too far away. And now, the next available appointment is the 13th of July. And I'm just like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I said to her, I said, I've been trying to get to speak to my doctor for months. I'm like, she has mentioned to me on numerous occasions that if this doesn't work, I need to have the Botox injected into my fucking bladder. I said, I need someone to tell me what it's going to cost me out, out of pocket. And I was like, she did say she'd do it in the public system. She goes, if it's public, it's free. She goes, but the thing is, if it's public, it's a long waiting list. And I'm like, exactly why? I need to speak to her. I'm like, I don't want to wait till the middle of July to then get put on the fucking waiting list. I should be on it now. Yes, I'm making my point on my pad next to me because it, uh, I know a lot of common sense, a lot of shit just short. But I'm not a fucking doctor. This shit to me as the patient is crap because I've made it clear in the emails in the phone calls, in the in the messages I've given to the fucking receptionist, I've now said it a number of times, okay? I need more help. I live with enough as it is without having an overactive bladder spasming whenever the fuck it wants and then literally giving me no fucking warning to get to a bathroom. I am too fucking young to have the shit oh my god i don't want to fucking have my bladder just explode in the middle of the fucking public which can happen and i'm sick of it for the shit that i can have fixed i deserve to be on a wedding list i said please talk to her she's just like she's just like no oh, make the appointment and that's when she mentions this fucking invoice i said to her can you e-script me the, the script and she goes oh no they've changed the rules again and i'm just like oh, what the fuck is wrong with people e-scripts were the, like one of the best fucking things to come out of covid she's like we're gonna have to send it to you in the post and i'm like okay cool well thankfully my gp is the one that up increased the dosage to begin with so i've already got scripts on file so that's neither here nor there but yeah, it's a hundred dollars. It was meant to cost me a hundred dollars yesterday, right? He's been fed. He's got water. He can get in and out. Why is he banging on the door? I don't know. He'll figure it out. Um, and that's false, obviously. Um, she goes, oh, this. Yeah, it was meant to cost me a hundred. Obviously, there's the rebag. Blah 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 blah. She goes, oh, the settle of the invoice. I said not a chance i'm paying for any of this i said i'm sick as a dog i was in tears basically when i left that message i said i waited for two hours and got forgotten and i'm like and you think i'm gonna pay for that and i said because it's not gonna happen and she goes oh yeah yeah i guess whoever it was yesterday figured that's you know she, you'd obviously spoken to her because she's written the script and the script is coming out which means that when you get the script there will be a bill attached she's like i'm going to take care of it at, at this end 
um, just ignore the bill and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like seriously. I'm going to write an email. It won't be today, I don't think. Um, because I have to use what energy I've got to read through these fucking work emails. Why is he being at me? Boss! Oh yeah, don't do that. That's dumb. Um, he usually does that when he wants more food. He has just had so much fucking loaf, he doesn't need more. Anyway. You could be telling me to take him for a walk, because that's been a week too, and that's not happening either. Um... When did I walk my dog last? Friday, I think. It's now Thursday. Feels the vibe. Um, 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 okay, so that's all well and done. So I do need to send an email because it's absolutely bullshit. I fucking need to be put on a waiting list immediately. Not in the middle of fucking July. Um, so, what have I done since my last video? Clearly not brush my hair, but hey, it looks better than the last lot of videos I made yesterday before I did, right? Um, I have made my bed, as I've said. I've had breakfast. I made coffee, but coffee and being sick doesn't work, I don't reckon, because I only got halfway through it, and I was just like, mm -hmm. I don't want any more of that. Um, fed boss. I actually did do my dishes last night, so that was nice to wake up to. Just the simple things when you're feeling like absolute fucking shit. And like I keep saying, it's literally me. I'm, I don't even like fill the sink with hot soapy water. I just use one of those brush things that has the soap in it. Um, I still have not fixed my sink. Maybe because, well, I'm going to say definitely because I'm sick and they made it sound so scary. And I know I can do it. And I'm just acting like a... Blah. I know I can, but I can't do shit when I feel like this. Um, I think there's a little part of me that kind of wants Andrew to be here when I do it. I don't know how to rationally explain that one. But I just feel like I'd feel safer if I fuck shit up if he's here. Okay, so we're going to have to go for a fucking walk. Because he will not stop fucking banging. And I don't know what the problem is. Um, anyway. Okay, so every time I think I feel better. Then I stand up. Oh, it's bright out here. Boss, come on, your dog door is literally open. He's out there. He's just being so fucking weird. Look at this, guys. Come on. Seriously, you made me get up for no fucking reason. What are you doing to me? You're yeah, crazy. I knew he didn't need me. Just wanted me to get up. I don't know what you want. You wagging your tail like a crazy bugger. You want to go for a walk? Yeah, that's not happening. Um, not because I don't want to, but just simply because I literally can't. Um, but yeah, where am I at? Where am I at, people? I need to sit down. I'll sit down here because it's right. Fucking hair coming out of everywhere. But yeah, so, no phone call, left to wait, left to go crazy yesterday. Now I have to wait twice as long for a new appointment. And even longer to get put on the waiting list. Um, so that's that. Um, there was something I really wanted to say in this video, but I don't remember what the fuck it was. Um, hmm. It'll come back to me, I guess. But yeah, it's like not quite 10 a.m. I have to make myself stay up because simply, if nothing else, hello. Um, I didn't sleep properly at all last night. I don't know what was happening. Maybe because I've been sleeping so fucking much or how badly my throat hurts or 
how much the coughing's getting to me and all the rest of it. But like, I took Seroquel. And yes, I know, I probably shouldn't. I am going to clarify this. I was prescribed it once. I'm not currently prescribed it now. Mostly because it knocks me the fuck out. Um, hence I take Valium for when I need it. Um, but I thought I'd take one in this moment because I do have some and I was like, it helped the other night. Didn't help last night. Then I took the natural... I always say it wrong. Melanotin? No, that doesn't sound right. Melatonin? Something? The one that we have naturally, but I buy it in a thing, in a bottle from iHerb. And I took some of them and that didn't help. And at this point, I just felt like I was going crazy. Because um, I actually went to bed at like 7.30. Excuse me. Went to bed at 7.30 and... Was still awake at 1.30, just going mad, it felt like. Um, yeah, right, I think I remember what one of my points was. It might be nice and sunny and bright and all the rest of the fucking bullshit out here, but um, it's too bright, it's too bright, and I feel shit. So I'm going back to bed. Um, I have messaged my father. WhatsApp because I don't have international messaging anymore. Uh, hey boss, that's my spot. Get off of my side. Um, he's arriving in the country tomorrow. And I was I reread the message back, and he's like, "Yeah, we're arriving on the thirteenth, um, but we'll be like in and around Melbourne as of the eighteenth or nineteenth, which means." They're going straight to Bendigo, which is weird. Get over. Get over. Oh, my God. You've got to see this, guys. Hopefully, I can do this without hanging my up. Let's see. Are you going to be good? Are you going to move for your mum? Look, look, look. What he does to me, guys. He steals my spot. Please move. Come on. Come on. Don't look at me like that, you shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Was your silly boss? Hmm? All right, I gotta get back in the bed before. Take it from me again. Oh, I think I'm getting better at doing this whole putting the phone on the stand thing without being too annoying. I'm so happy that my followers, all of you guys out there who like watching my videos, appreciate my unique way of making them. That I have zero interest in ever editing them. Ever. Like I've said, I've edited one fucking video and it was solely because Michelle's mother said her name. Oh, fucking Michelle, I don't want to talk about that bitch. Mm. Oh, it's not a high vibrational, high self loving sort of being kind of thing to say. Let me rephrase it. Michelle is going through her own stuff and thought it'd be easier to blame me than look within. Much better. <sighs> Just that excursion from here to there and back. I'm exhausted. Absolutely fucking exhausted. But anyway, I just thought the whole trying to charge me for an appointment I didn't even get to have is ridiculous um but it is what it is right i have created a group chat on whatsapp solely for those of us going to queensland just because i wanted to let them know that i'll obviously be at the meeting tomorrow online and that I'm going to attempt to get through whatever the emails are and whatever it is I'm supposed to do between now and then. But I'm also not well. Though I think I mentioned at some point yesterday or perhaps the other day that um, my boss is also not well. So he's probably in the same boat as me. Well, 
No, that's not true because he wrote the email, so he knows where the fuck we're at. I don't. Um, but yeah, if he's really sick, the whole thing might even get postponed for all I know. I don't know. Um, I do know that I'm fucking happy to be going. That's what I said to my father in the message. I was like, Okay, so you're not going to be around here until the 18th or 19th, meaning you're going to be in the go first. That's great. Um, 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 because that gives me a week longer to get better. And I obviously said, Look, I've got news that I want to tell you, but I'll be waiting to see you in person. Um, because technically I haven't actually been able to tell anyone in my family. I've absolutely no idea if my family watched these or not i know obviously my sister and her partner were watching them at a point given all the bullshit that happened with my sister-in-law um but given how i reacted and some of the things i said on video and in message i wouldn't have been surprised i would not be surprised if they just stopped watching um, I'm trying to think if it was roles reversed and they made videos every day, would I watch? I would watch, but I'm not like other people, we all know that. Um, and yes, I'm aware we are all individual, unique, beautiful beings in our own right, agreed. Um, but I just apparently appear to come from a slightly different planet to the rest of you. And that's cool, I'm cool with that. Um... One thing that's been driving me bonkers lately is something that Randy's mum, Sue, said to me when I met her. We're talking about the higher selves and the dimensions and, you know, different levels of energy and vibrations and we were very much talking about the same thing, except for when it came to the ego. And I was like, yeah, to me the ego is the lower vibrational part of us. Like, I, I always know when I'm in the ego. Once you get to the point where I'm at and you can literally feel your vibrations and you can. If someone had said this to me eight or ten years ago, I would have just went, what the fuck are you on about? But this is real regardless. Um, I know when I'm an ego, which is also why it bugs me when I do shit when I'm an ego because... I've literally gotten written around my house. If you know you're an ego and what you're about to do is based on your ego, don't fucking do it. It's only been, I don't know how many years of me saying that for, but I'm learning. But um, she said something like, we need our ego because our ego is what keeps us safe. It stops us from walking out in the road and in front of a car and blah, 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 blah. And I said, I fully hear what you're saying. And I think I may have mentioned it briefly in a video at the time. I was like, what you are describing is basically Freud. Um, and she was like, oh, that's interesting, because I don't really know anything about Freud, so to speak. I've definitely never read or studied him. Whereas we've both read and, and taken away from Eckhart Tolle. Now, obviously, I, I read and study my own stuff, but me, I'm a philosopher in my own right. So everything that I truly believe and think and talk about is based on my knowledge, based on me and what I'm going through. And again, I'm going to have to just say, yeah, a lot of the stuff I believe in can be called pseudoscience. Um, but everything was pseudoscience once. And if you're not open to if you're not willing to open your mind just a little bit, that's on you, not me. And I'm not the one missing out. Um, but yeah, it's been bugging the shit in me. I'm like, nope, I hear what she's saying. There is a part of us. And where does it come in? I do not believe for one second the part of us that stops us from walking out onto the road or, I don't know, whatever the fuck it might be, is ego. I don't, right? But I haven't been able to figure out what the fuck it is. And it hit me either yesterday or the day before when it was like, oh my God. How the fuck did it take you this damn long? You've been saying this since Mr. X has been in your life. It's our intuition. Our intuition is our higher self coming through us, yeah? So my intuition is the one that's like, you know, what were some examples recently? 
Oh, it's a bed making one. My intuition told me to put the black one on top, but I didn't. I put the duvet on top, and then within hours, boss was drawing his fucking head off. Should have listened to my intuition. That's definitely not my ego. Um, my ego, on the other hand, is like my ego is the one that's constantly telling me I'm going to fail at absolutely everything. There's no point being at school. There's no point about worrying about honors. There's no point about blah 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 blah. That's that's my ego. My high self, as I've said, shakes its head at my ego and just is like, oh, the potential. But I am doing the best I can. And I do truly believe that everyone is doing the best they can. Including my mum and my family and every single body out there. Though every time I say something like that, that crazy man from fucking Russia comes to my mind and... I can't quite make that compute, but I guess the only way it can is that in his head, I'm assuming he thinks he's doing the right thing, even though the entire planet can see that he's absolutely fucking bonkers, crazy mad. But anyway, not what my fucking point of my story is about. Um, but, yes, right. I've got this, like, note next to myself, which I really need to do something about, and it says... Take photos of sections of the uni wall and read them on your phone. Zoomed in, it says on my egg chair or at somewhere comfortable. Which would make sense. I have to actually stand in the hallway to read my nose and take photos and read them anyway. Um, I don't tend to study at all when I'm sick because it's hard enough to do when I'm not sick. Hard enough in the sense of I just need to concentrate and I actually watched back Sunday's video, the one that's got like fucking a lot of views. I think it was like 5k, but I could be thinking of something else. And anyway, the dumb point of view that I was going to make, and I know I wrote it down, was I would have gone to uni to meet her on Monday. And that would have been ego, even though I knew I wasn't able to. Um, so the whole thing worked out well. Since I've been bed and I'm sick. Um, 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 I do feel like there was a really decent point I wanted to make, but I don't know what the fuck it was. Um, but at 27 minutes, I'm going to shut up. And I'm going to play a little game that I like to play. If you make it to the bottom of my video, please comment what your favourite number is. Now, I don't understand why people don't like to comment. It could be because whatever you say, like your account, your name, whatever it shows up as, I don't know. Like, I don't personally care. Um, is that the reason why none of you like my videos? I get thousands and thousands of views, but I've got 87 subscribers. And again, in all fairness, I don't subscribe to channels because of the fucking notifications going off. But you could subscribe to me and then just turn the notifications off which would be a win-win for the both of us. Um, but yeah, I'm actively liking more videos using this particular Life's Story account to watch my videos. Mostly I'm only watching The Trial with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Um, my throat hurts so bad. But I've fucking done a bit considering it's... I've got up at 8 and it's... 10, 14. Oh, I am telling myself that if I've managed to talk for nearly half an hour, that's really, really got to be a good sign. Yeah? So I'm going to rest for a little bit. Um, upload this. And then see where I'm at. And um, start going through emails. I do think the cold and flu tablets from my over the counter, whatever these ones are, just hide my entire full fucking name because these ones are very good. So, yeah, that's it for now, guys. I will probably talk to you later.